Five Finger Death Punch frontman Ivan Moody and guitarist Zoltan Bathory faced off in a fascinating interview where they actually interviewed each other in a new feature over at Metal Hammer. The musicians spoke candidly and in depth about their history with each other, how Ivan joined the band, his tryout process, his battle with substance abuse related issues mainly pertaining to alcohol, and a myriad of other different topics. Ultimately, Five Finger Death Punch is stronger than they've ever been, and they also had a lot of fun during this interview. And one of the first questions that Zoltan asked to Ivan, he said, do you remember the first time you met me? What were your first impressions? Ivan said, the first time I actually met you was when I came to LA to audition. You and I had been talking via email on MySpace of all things. You sent me Salvation, The Bleeding and Meet the Monster and I came out with no expectations, not really wanting anything to do with the music industry and you just took me under your arm the second I came in. Zoltan said, you turned around and showed your back. Ivan said, yeah, because I was nervous. I remember you sitting there texting already and I was like, oh, I blew this one. This is going to suck. But you were already telling people that I was the guy. Uh, there we went to the rainbow and you bought me dinner. Uh, Zoltan continued saying, I'd already heard him sing, so I knew he was the guy, but it took time to get him to LA. I actually bought him his plane ticket and canceled the ticket back, so he was stuck with us. I always have to trick him into shit. Uh, by the time he realized he was a prisoner, we were seven songs in. We had great conversations. He's a lunatic, which is something you can't fake. I had a megaphone in my car and he was hanging out the window screaming at people in Hollywood. Ivan followed up asking Zoltan, what's the stupidest thing you've ever read about us? Zoltan said, Jesus Christ, where do I start? Well, we didn't have a record label, a manager, or a booking agent, and without those things we were already getting big. Then we were on an independent label with a shoestring budget and people were like, these big money corporate bands. Our first record was done in my living room. It doesn't get any more DIY than that, but we'd get this corporate thing as if it was contrived. Ivan said, I'd have to agree with you. That's one of the most irritating ones for me too. Ivan candidly asked Zoltan, what's the biggest thing that drives you crazy about me? Zoltan said, well, Thank God the thing that drove me crazy is now solved. When we got together, I felt like we were unbeatable, and I loved that feeling. Then, when Ivan started drinking more and more, I felt like there was an unpredictability, which is great in some ways, but it started to happen in a way that was like, is he going to fall off stage? Am I going to get woken up one day and he's dead in his bunk? I felt like it wasn't fair that he was putting the rest of us in jeopardy, and it wasn't fair that he was making me worry about him all the time. Ivan chimed in saying, it took me a long time to believe that I belong here. I always thought other singers were better than me, and I felt like I didn't deserve it. It was self-sabotage, and it took me the longest time for me to get my head out of my ass. It makes me want to cry, actually, but I realized that it was never just about me, and it was selfish to think that way. For the longest time, I figured I was going to die from drinking, but once I stopped, it was different. Now I don't know how I'm going to die. I'm curious, actually. But anticipation of death is worse than death itself, and that was something I was avoiding because I'm scared. But anyway... On to the answer for me, there are very few things that I dislike about you. You sometimes overwhelm yourself because you've got your hands in so much stuff, the monster trucks, martial arts, sometimes it gets to be too much because I miss the days when it was just Death Punch, but that's just me being selfish. There's really nothing I dislike about you. Zoltan asked Ivan what's my worst habit, he says to Zoltan, you are a control freak to some degree. You have a tendency if something doesn't go the way you want to chop it off at the head but you don't really have any bad habits, you eat well, you have the cleanest dreadlocks I've ever seen. Zoltan said, but I'm quick with the execution? Ivan says, yeah, if you don't like it, it's a duck and you shoot it out of the sky. Zoltan says, I can see it, but it comes from looking three moves ahead. Ivan said, that's how he drives too, he drives like Tetris, I'm really nervous in cars, more than nervous, I hate other people driving, and I drive like a grandma. Zoe was doing almost 200 miles an hour to LA, and I started noticing that he was looking two to three cars ahead, but the control freak, Zoltan, but I can see three moves ahead. See, I cut him off because I knew what he was going to say. I calculated what he was going to say, but I can see why that frustrates the shit out of him. Later on in the interview, Zoltan asked, what riff or piece of music that I've written have you hated? And this is where things get interesting because they recount an incident in the past where they almost came to blows in the studio over this said riff and this song and what it sounded like. Ivan said, there is one on the way of the fist that I didn't dig at first, but we just got together and the material was all new to me. Zoltan says, for me, it was never enough. Ivan says, yep, Zoltan hates never enough. Never liked it, never will. We actually almost quit. Zoltan says, we were almost fist fighting. 
Ivan said, our manager had to separate us. We were recording at Corn Studios in LA and we were working with this guy. I'd rather not say his name. And he came up with this idea that we do a poppier song. I started writing to it and Zoltan came in like, this is complete shit. Zoltan said, I was like, this is everything I despise. This is everything that we promised we'd never do. It was the only time in our career that a third person from outside the band was involved. Things took an even more serious tone during the interview when Ivan asked Zoltan point blank, when was the moment you thought that you could never work with me again? Zoltan said, that point never came. I'm a solution guy and there's always an answer. Moments came when I was like, I don't know the next move, but we figured it out. I guess the first time we had to stop the tour because you were becoming dangerous to yourself. I'm not gonna watch you die. I felt hopeless. He's a singer and his life revolves around those two hours on stage, so the only thing I could do was take that away from him. But it was a bluff, because he's my brother and my singer. I was worried that if I bluff, then I have no cards left. That was a dark time, because I usually have the answers. But I didn't, other than, you have to go to rehab and you have to go now. Ivan said, I wasn't happy about it, but I did it. Anybody who's ever dealt with addiction knows that it's a lifetime goal, a war with yourself. I got lost in the bottom of a bottle and that's all there is to it. But I've always wanted to tell you and the other guys when they read this, that you guys never gave up on me. You stood by me, even when my own family didn't. So I thank you guys and I love you for it. Zoltan said, this is therapy. Probably the shittiest I ever felt was when I said we were gonna fire you. I didn't mean it, but I felt like we were out of options. You can read the entire interview over at Metal Hammer, them interviewing each other rather. It's a fascinating interview. Shout out to those guys for being so real all the time with one another. It's a great read and you can tell that uh, they really are in a good place now where they can reflect like that. Ivan is sober. He's doing very well. He's on Instagram every day. Seems to be doing very, very well. So much love and light to that band for you know all they've ever come over the last few years exciting stuff it looks like uh, five finger death punch will hopefully be touring some more in 2019 this year so anyways check out these recommended videos and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news